Hey everybody, Frank Sapsky here to Polish Pizziola, 23% Italian, member of the Pizza Gavones. We review the pizza, the place, and the personality. Before we get going in this video, I want to talk to you about a couple of things. One, if you haven't already done it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pizza Gavones. Two, we have a thriving Facebook group called All About New Haven Style of Beats. We have over 13,000 people there. All we do is talk about pizza, specifically New Haven style. It's a great group. And I definitely uh, would appreciate if you guys come check it out. The last thing is, on our Pizza Gavones YouTube channel, we have three videos I want to tell you about very quickly. The first one is how to make the dough, New Haven style pizza, or a beats as we call it in Connecticut. Two is how to take that dough from the dough proofing container to the dish. And we're going to cover everything, including um, how to assemble it, how to bake it in your oven on a steel plate, it's very informative uh, and got a lot of good feedback on it. And the last one is how to make the sauce for New Haven style pizza. And in the end, if you like everything I have here, please give me a like. I would really appreciate it. And let everyone know that's interested in pizza about our channel. Thank you very much. Okay, everyone, the next video is going to be about how to launch a pizza. I get asked this question a lot on the group and I want to make a video on it and it's going to be pretty detailed so stick with me because we got a lot to go over. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go over um, peels and so I've got this peel here which is a real small peel it's probably uh, 15, eight, 15 inches or so uh, short handle. I got this bigger peel which is probably 18 to 20 inches here to here and obviously it's a long handle and I got this uh, short stubby one, which I use a lot for my home oven. Um, this is about 20 inches wide, and it's got a real short peel. I'm sorry, it's got a real short handle. So the reason why I wanted to show you these three peels is because they each have a different purpose. Uh, a peel with a long handle is good for a big oven because you need the distance in the oven. Okay, this would not be a peel that you would use in your home unless you had a wood-fired oven in your home, which most people don't. This peel is something that you could use in your home, in your home oven, because it's got a short handle and really all you're doing is just going a foot or two in front of you and you're going to launch the pizza. This obviously you can only make a small pizza with. The last peel is to make a large pizza in your home oven and again a short handle. Uh, I probably would recommend this peel here. This is an 18 or 20 inch peel and um, this is kind of an all-purpose because you can make a small, medium, and large pizza uh, on this peel as well. So I want to go over this peel with you and I want to show you that there's a wood grain and you see how it goes from the top to the bottom. It goes all in the same direction. Well, One of the tricks I learned over time is that you take a sanding block and they sell these sanding blocks in different grits. This one's 180, this one's 120. And what that means is the higher the number, the finer the sand that you're going to get. And the most important thing with any wooden peel is to make it as slippery as you possibly can. So basically what you do is you take this uh, sanding block, I'm going to take it out of the container here, you take it in your hand, and you start from one end and you go down. What you don't want to do is go across the grain because what you're trying to do here is you're trying to get this as smooth as a baby's bottom and that's really the trick. So you take your uh, block, you sand it down. I usually get all the edges, I get back here probably do this five or six times. Now this is kind of a brand new peel. Um, the peel that I use the most is this. And so this actually serves two purposes. One is to keep this peel smooth, but two is to clean up after the last uh, pizza that you made. And over time, these are going to build up with flour and semolina or cornmeal. So it's good to actually start every time that I start making pizza, uh, I always clean it. And again, take my block and I sand it down.
It doesn't take long, 30 seconds or so. Um, and you notice here, I'm going to go on the edges. So this, this trick here will save you a lot of time and it really works out well. I'm going to use this peel for the rest of the video. One of the things that I want to go over are the catch points on a, on a peel. So you have your pizza dough here and a lot of times, especially when you're first starting out, the pizza might, the dough might flap over the edges and when you go to launch it, it's going to be a disaster. So the most important part of your peel are the edges because if your pizza is going to get stuck anywhere, it's pretty much going to be right on the edge. Obviously the overlapping, you have to just watch and be careful that you don't uh, put the dough over the edge, but that's just going to take some time and practice. So now we got our peel, we got it sanded, and the next thing I want to do is go over um, these things here. And these are the ball bearings. Okay, you hear that? These things are sliding around nice and easy. What you want to do is create this surface on your peel. And the way you do that is you use a combination of flour or your bench flour, which I don't have. Let me get it. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to create a surface that's as smooth as possibly can be or a baby's bottom as I call it. So we already went over how to um, sand it down with the sanding block that gets everything ready for to launch our pizzas. Now, what I do when I first start making pizza is I take some flour, some bench flour, and I just sprinkle it on. And this really is for the first pizza only. And I rub it in. Again, I'm using the grain, or I'm going by the grain of the peel. Now what this does is this takes any um, moisture and it basically just kind of gets rid of it slash masks it. And so I'm only going to do that really for the first pizza because I want to make sure that I'm starting out with the best possible scenario I can. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these ball bearings which what I use is semolina flour and I'm going to sprinkle this on the peel. And if you could hear that, it's kind of coarse. But really, what this does is this creates a barrier between the bottom of the pizza dough and the peel. And, it, and it's just like a ball bearing that when that dough gets flung off the peel, the pizza is just going to slide right off. So the next thing I want to show you is how to practice launching a pizza without actually making the dough. Now there's a couple things. One, the best way to do this is obviously to use uh, dough, but some people don't like to use it because it's a waste, but I've got a, uh, a way around that too. What you're going to find is that um, we have a pizza dough video and it's going to be a link in the description to show you how to make pizza dough. So I highly recommend to follow that, but you can certainly use your own recipe or get it at a store, but it's kind of easy to make and it's really fun to actually make a pizza that you've actually made from scratch. So the number one thing is going to be to use a dough that you've made or bought. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I got my dough that I stretched and I'm going to show you guys how to put it on. I've got my peel, it's floured, it's got semolina on it. And the most important thing, and I call this the shake and bake, that you want to start getting used to, is you want to see that dough shaking like that. Okay, this is success. This is going to make your life a lot easier. So obviously this is a big peel, small pizza dough, and I'm going to get it right to the edge. This is going to basically represent the back of the oven. I'm going to put it here and slide it right out. 
Going to do this again. Put it back on the peel. Shake and bake. Put it down. Now notice that this peel is not up super high at like a 45 degree angle. It's more like a 10 or 15 degree angle. And it's all in the wrist. Shake and bake. Put the peel down. And just slide it right out. All you really need to do is do a couple shakes. And as soon as you see that pizza starting to go out from the peel, just slide it back. And you're done. That's how to practice with uh, dough that you've made or you bought. Okay guys, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to practice launching a pizza without making any dough or buying any dough. So what I have here, and um, I, was, I was able to get these, these are called 16 inch cardboard pizza rounds. And you'll notice they're white on one side, brown on the other. Now these you could buy at a commercial pizza store, you could probably get them online on Amazon. But the bottom line is, I, I'm using this because I have them. You don't have to have this perfect round piece of cardboard. You can take any piece of cardboard you have from Amazon. You can tape two things together. It doesn't really matter. But what you want to use is you want to use cardboard if possible in a circular uh, format. Next thing you're going to do or you need is this is just an old dishcloth that I had laying around. It's nothing fancy. It clearly isn't round, but this is for demonstration, and obviously this is for practice. So you have your cardboard pizza round, you got your old dish towel, and you got a bunch of quarters. The reason why you want to use the quarters is because you want to have as much weight on top as possible, just like toppings, cheese, sauce. So instead of using all those things, you're going to use quarters, and you're just going to spread them out like you would toppings on a pizza. Now, I know this sounds crazy, it looks crazy, but what I try to do in a lot of my videos is I try to give you guys ideas for things that you can use that you have around your house or that you don't have to go to a commercial restaurant store to get. And this is another example of that. Um, so here we go, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our pizza, we're gonna put it on our peel, and we're gonna do the shake and bake. Again, this shake and bake is key because this means that this dough, this pizza, is ready to go off the peel. So we take it here and we just slide it out. I'm going to do it again. Shake and bake. Put the peel on the pizza stone or pizza steel. Get it to the edge and slides right off. Hope that tip was useful.